I really want you to break down what does that mean, becoming husband, and what got you to this point to where you're like, yo, it's time for me to shift from, um, he is a member of the uh, best fraternity in the world, in my personal opinion, Kappa Alpha Psi. And um, he, you went from that season to this season. So let's break this down. What does becoming a husband mean? And how did you get to where you want to become husband? Well, long story short, um, I only had, in all of the women that I've loved before God, you remember the story, <laughs> um, I only had one woman, mm, Sherry, mm, to mm. say to me, I'm not a girlfriend, I'm a wife. Mm, mm, mm. And when she said that to me, mm. it shifted my whole thinking about myself. Wow. Because you remember the book, the, the, the basis or the foundation, the substratum of where we were in and uh, to all the girls I've loved before God was to tell us that we needed to know who we were ourselves before we could find our place in relationship. Yeah. And when she said that to me, when she said, I'm not a girlfriend, mm. I'm a wife, it actually made me question who I was. Like, what was I? And in that very moment, I understood why I wasn't married. Mm. I understood why my relationships in the past hadn't worked. And I understood what I had to do in order to get where I want to be. Wow. When she said that to me, when Sherry said, I am not a girlfriend, I'm a wife, I realized that I'd never even been a boyfriend. Ooh, what do you mean by that? I had always been the guy who just kept his options open. I had never identified myself as anything. Wow. Now, and so in that moment, I understood that I had to become something. Yeah. And I had to be that thing yeah. in order to be that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could never be a husband until I became one. Uh. You, know, you know, most people think that they have to, they don't become a, they become a husband at the altar when they, make their vows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, and, and, and I'm not trying to be pseudo, a pseudo-spiritualist, but the scripture says, he that findeth a wife, mm. which means that she's already a wife mm. when he finds her. So if she's already a wife, then I have to you be better be a, a husband. husband. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so I was, so in that moment, I realized <laughs> if I ever wanted a wife, I had to become Husband. Become husband. See, because the scripture says, he that findeth a wife. It didn't say he that findeth his wife. Ooh. So a. you might. <laughs> yeah, a Ooh, wife. She, so she so may not be your, your wife, wife, but she is a, a wife. wife. She's right. somebody's right. wife. Right, because here, <laughs> in that thing, in that, in, that, in that particular scripture, here's the thing. Being a wife to you is about choice. Right, 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 right. See, because, I, you know, people say all the time, um, the husband or wife that God has for you. God ain't got no husband or wife for you. Mm. God is the most powerful entity in the universe. Facts. And he doesn't force you to choose him. Right, right. He gives you the ability to choose or reject him. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. if God doesn't make you choose him, yeah. Why is he, gonna make he ain't going to make nobody else choose you. Come on, He's going to give them the choice come to on. choose you. Come on, come Are on. Are you following me here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in that moment, I understood this woman said, I'm a, I'm a wife, and if I'm ever going to be, I got to be right now. Yeah, yeah. So I decided in that moment, mm. in that very moment, reflecting on everything that I had gone through, all of the situations that I had been in, everything that I knew about relationships, I understood in that very moment that mm. a man or a woman can only be found in two positions, mm. lost or, or found. found. Mm. Because when you find her, you have to be ready for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And every woman that I did not find her to be, I was lost. So good. What do you think is keeping us single men from not, outside of options, do you think it's only options? Or do you think it is somewhat immaturity? Um, I'm curious to think from your younger days, from what you know me and just men in general, What's keeping us? What's keeping us from becoming husband? I think, if I'm honest with you, I think the the, the reality is that we don't even know. Mm. Like I think the my people perish. Yep. For the lack of knowledge. Knowledge. 
I think we're we're actually we're actually fading away. We're perishing uh -huh. as men in relationships and marriages simply because we are not taking in the right information. Uh -huh. And that doesn't provide the knowledge that we need in order for us to live our lives productively. You have to build the vision for the family. Okay, now you're rocking. I see where you're going. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You have to build the, the, the vision for the family, and then you have to build the unity, the, co the cohesiveness okay. in the relationship. Okay. Because um, one, of the, one of the things that I, I wrote or said a little bit earlier is that the man is the proof to the relationship. Right. Like, a relationship doesn't exist without you. In most cases, it's the woman is always, she's ready, she's like this, that, and the other. The guy is the proof, the woman is the peace. Ooh, I like that. Say that again. The the, the man in the relationship is the, is the proof yeah. that the relationship exists. The woman is the peace to the relationship. So you have to build, you have to consistently build the vision for the family. And mm. that, that changes, mm. right? That's an ongoing thing. Once you... Here's, here's where we're going. Mm -hmm. Once we get here, we can't just stay. Yeah. yeah. You got to consistently build her. Yeah. So you have honor, understanding, support, and build. build. And I like that build part, though, Jay, because it's like I, I feel as if, what literally, while I was studying for this quiz that we just put out, I was just studying, like, well, why are divorces happening? And it's because they didn't maximize their single season before getting the ring. How do you maximize? You got to have a vision. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to know where you're going. You got to put a, de a definition. You got to come up with a defined destination. And I think, like you said, if I'm single and if I come to the marriage with a vision and alone she agrees with that vision, I've just built the, the marriage, but I'm also building her. If you come to the marriage or to the relationship as husband. Husband. Mm. So maximum, what I found, because you know, I did the I did the singles mansion yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And in that, what I found was to maximize my single season, yeah. I, I had to become what I wasn't. Right? So maximizing your single season is to become the thing that you're not. Ah, you teaching good. That's exactly what we say in the results on the quiz. Right. you Y'all need to go take that quiz. Go take the quiz. It's free. <laughs> Man talking good. Keep going, boy. You You're talking saying? good. So so when we're, when we're resting in that, Anthony, once we understand that we're building her, the next one was my biggest issue in all of the relationships that I had. What's that? Alignment. And you have to align with her. I, I actually, I change it from agree with her because... You got to align. You got to align. Have to. Because here's the thing, and alignment in this one is where conflict resolution resides. That's it. Right? That's it. I was in relationships in my past that did not have good conflict resolution. I dated wonderful women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, we would argue about the toilet tissue being turned the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would blow into something that was like crazy. Like no conflict resolution. There was no alignment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like alignment doesn't always mean agree. And I had I used to I put agree with her. No, you don't have to agree to align. You don't. You don't. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That goes back to that understanding. Like you might not know. I don't agree with this, babe. But hey, listen. Right. This is what we're going to do because you're building the video. You are building this vision, this husband. So, hey, babe, you will listen. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this sacrifice for you right yeah. here in this moment. But I want you to understand. <sighs> so alignment isn't always agreeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is so good. In the support area, do you believe that a man can support his woman in a 50-50 relationship financially? Like I know that's one of the elements. But can a man support his woman and honor his woman? in a 50-50 relationship? That depends on the dynamics of their relationship. Okay. I mean, you know, my I'm, my dad is from the old school, right. and I'm from the old school. My mom has my mom hasn't worked since my sister was born. Right, right, And right. she never paid a bill or bought things in, in, in my house coming up, other than for us. She bought for us all the time. Right. But in terms of what was the necessities of the household, that wasn't her responsibility. And I'm kind of from that old school. Okay. You need to be in the position to do that. However, right, right. I do understand that the dynamics of relationships are different today than they were when our parents were growing up. Mm. Right? You have we we so often we want we want traditional wives, but they don't have traditional responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yo, Jay, right, you, you yo, you talking good today. 
No, I'm, I'm serious. Though. For real. No. So, yes, you can support in a 50-50 situation, but I would leave that. That's something that you guys have to talk about in, in terms of when you're working out your details in terms of honoring and understanding. Standing. Yeah, right. yeah. You got to have an understanding in order to honor. Right.